What does it mean to be engaged in today's workplace? How do we inspire, inform, and connect a working community? How do we build a culture of irreplaceability, trust, and listening to keep people on board and rowing together? Welcome to Post-COVID Leadership Advice. This series is all about building a workplace culture where people feel heard, supported, informed, and connected. This is a roadmap for leaders at any level, at any organization. Engagement is about the details. And this is something that is really basic to many of us who are in this business, but not so basic from the outside. A lot of people think that it's the job of the engagement managers to move the numbers, move the needle on engagement scores for employees. That is one measurement of success. And it's actually not a very good one because it really depends on the overall culture. An engagement manager really can't change those numbers very much. All we can really do is measure them and give an accurate indication and an accurate roadmap as to what to do about them. But what really makes an engagement work is attention to detail. And there are the big issues, which is onboarding. That's, uh, that's huge and very often overlooked. Uh, you have the bigger issues like, um, am I getting enough training? Uh, do I have a career advancement path? Does somebody care about what I do uh, and whether I stay and whether I have a future? Will I have a promotion? None of these things are things that engagement managers uh, can control. However, listening and understanding the needs and being present and making sure these little things are seen too. Basically, this means understanding your community, understanding what is important to the community and delivering them. So take an example of holidays. If you have an office where only the main culture is celebrating the holiday, so let's say Christmas uh, and um, Easter, and yet you have a population that is highly diverse, you have a large Muslim population, you have a large Jewish population, you have a large Hindu population, uh, what about those holidays? Who's celebrating those things? Do you stop everything on Diwali and uh, celebrate that and also at the same time educate the other members of your community? What is Diwali? Why is it important to this population? And this drives engagement um, like nothing else. When people are seen, when they are heard, when they have the chance to share their cultures with other people, it might seem small and insignificant, but in fact, it does make a big difference. Another small, but for some insignificant detail is, what about the food at the cafeteria? Do you have vegetarian options? Do you have vegan options? What about the milk in the cafe? Do you have non-dairy options? Do you have things that people can drink that are not coffee-based at all? Do you have snacks there uh, for people who are gluten-free? making sure that all the members of the community can find what they need. This means measuring uh, and listening to how many people are vegetarian in your community and offering these things in a visible way. There is nothing like a nice small change to announce at a meeting or a town hall to say, hey, we've done some research and guess what? We learned that 10% of you are vegetarian and because of that, uh, starting Monday, there's always going to be a nice vegetarian option at the cafeteria. These are small details to some, but it makes a very, very big difference in the culture of listening and the culture of being attentive to the needs of the community. The other way that this is shown is simply by being present. During off times, simply wander the halls. Uh, listen to what people are saying. Get, get into conversations with people you don't even know. Sit down next to random strangers in the cafeteria and just ask how they're doing. Being a good engagement manager is a lot about being a mom and listening to what is going on and seeing how you can help in tiny ways. Even if you can't help, even if none of these things are within your scope, you can still be present and you can still give a little teeny bit of advice, or maybe you know somebody to talk to uh, who understands things better. 
uh, about, let's say, campus training, or let's say how you get to a certain conference, um, maybe they might not know anything, but they can at least be present and listen and understand. It also means being a bit of a therapist. So having that ear uh, that you can talk to and somebody will be there at the other end. Let's say you're having a problem at work. Let's say it's something confidential, but if you're trusted and you're there for them and you're listening to what they're saying, then they will come to you with larger things as well. And finally, it's important to understand that every single employee, whether they are visibly engaged or not, is a potential flight risk. So everybody can leave at any time they want. There's a lot of opportunity out there. You have to make it more compelling inside the company than outside. So engagement is about the details. Thank you for being a part of this episode. Subscribe, follow, so you never have to miss another one. These ideas are based on the Comic Books for Executive series. Go to postcovidhandbook.com.